you guys know when you have a YouTube channel and you loved a movie and you for some reason never reviewed it? Well, that's going to happen here, guys. What's going on, Nerd Army, guys? It is time for me to do a movie review for Jurassic World. Now, guys, I had seen this in the theaters, and I don't know why I never got around to doing a movie review on it. Um, I love this film. It was great. I've compared all the Jurassic Park films and um, done my ranking of all of them, but this movie, I really just wanted to do a review on it because I was sitting here and I watched the Blu-ray um, with my wife, and I just got taken back. I loved this film. Now, did I love this film as much as the original? Hmm, no. But that's not saying it wasn't bad. It was different. It was more towards the monster movie kind of side than the original, which really had that nostalgic, oh, dinosaurs exist for the first time. You guys are seeing this crazy CGI for the first time. And that is what Jurassic Park did for me. Uh, Jurassic World all around just gave me that, oh, like, holy crap, I'm, I'm so excited to go back to the park, go back to the crazy, crazy crap that went down last time and really just sink my teeth into more of it. So, I mean, going into this movie, I, I loved it. I, I, I was excited for it. I loved all the trailers. I was really hyped up. I was one of those fans that was just super freaking hyped. But Getting there, sitting down, and watching this movie, I loved every second of this movie. It was eventful, it was cool, it was fast-paced, but it was still kind of scary, on the edge of your seat, kind of thriller status. It was really awesome, just the way it was laid out. Characters were very well built, very well done. My favorite character in this movie is going to be Owen. That's probably most everybody's favorite character, Owen, played by Chris Pratt. Um, he is all around badass. He is the raptor trainer. That's the great thing about him. He's just such a cool character because he trained these raptors. He imprinted on these raptors from birth. So his character, Chris Pratt, did an amazing job. I mean, I, he was that is one of my favorite roles he has played. He is just amazing as Owen. I can't wait to see him. I hope he's in the sequel. I hope everything goes well. Another character we got to talk about is Claire. So Claire is played by Bryce Dallas Howard. Besides the fact of being stunningly beautiful, she is a gorgeous woman. But all around her entire role, at first, when I first went to see this, I kind of had the feeling I wasn't going to dig her role. I really wasn't going to be into it. But I love her character. Claire is as uptight, very to the, straight to the T, books, writes everything now, schedules freaking dates. Yes, she schedules a date with Owen. She did a great job. Bryce Dallas Howard showed that cold, relentless, working woman side that just like, boom, I'm going to step on anyone I have to, whatever, get out of my damn way. Then she went to the caring, concerned aunt of the two boys. Um... Now, to the two boys. This movie could have existed and done just as well without them. They were a way to bring Claire's character to the head of the story. Um, keep her up front because she is their aunt and basically she was there to support them, support the story, bring stuff in, tie Owen to the main plot line. It, but it was really well done. I, I just feel that the boys were kind of underwhelming. They were the most underwhelming part of this movie. I, I'm not saying they didn't do a great job, because they did. They did a great job. The younger brother was scared out of his mind. The older brother's trying to be a badass, but still scared and shitless, but trying to be strong for his little brother. I enjoyed the characters. They weren't bad, but they weren't the best. Out of all the main characters in this story, I would have to say they're the ones I like the least. Hoskins. <laughs> now, Hoskins is one that I'm kind of biased towards. I really loved this character, but part of me thinks it's because I'm a huge fan of Vincent D'Onofrio. He did a great job as this character. All around, Hoskins was kind of a piece of shit the whole movie. I just loved the character because of the, like, he just cold-hearted, didn't give a shit. He wanted, he was there for his mission. That's what he wanted. He didn't give a fuck. He's going to step on anyone he has to, do whatever he's got to do, and he gets his fucking arm eaten by a raptor. Boom! I love to hate Hoskins. We're going to talk about Maserani, the guy that owns the park. He is uh, the owner and works, I guess, with Engine, alongside Engine. And he, his character was cool, but at the same time, I was just like, you know what? Like, he's kind of a D-bag. He, he looks out for the safety of everyone else, and he wants everyone to have a great time, but his character is just kind of douchey. I did like him as a character. He was cool. I, the, I liked the way he went out to like fly in the helicopter that he insisted he could fly. 
flying that helicopter right into the pterodactyl cage and exploding. I was thinking, damn, he's going to survive. And then, then the fucking big bad Indominus Rex is going to eat his ass. No, he, he went boom. Another great character, Lowry. Okay, Lowry was played by Jake Johnson. I love Jake Johnson from, like, Let's Be Cops. Um, he is just a cool-ass guy. I think he's just a great character, very well done. And... He was cool for his his little pieces that he added in there. A little bit of the nostalgia kick. Almost reminded me of Dennis from the original movie. But without being a conniving fat fuck. Mixed between him and Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, he had the tech side, but then he had the uh, in control and doing the right thing side. It was cool. He was a great character, very well balanced. I like to see his progression throughout the movie and where he... Like, he was basically the filler. He held everything together throughout the film. Then we have B.D. Wong. Now, B.D. Wong is the only returning character from the original movie. Um, and he plays uh, Dr. Henry Wu. Now, Dr. Henry Wu is the guy that we hear explain how dinosaurs are created, how the eggs are handled, how everyone's birthed, how they're all genetically altered to be all females. He is the one that explains the entire process for the most part to us, except for that awesome little tram ride in the first movie. But in this one, we get to hear him talk about how we need the bigger, the better, no more teeth, all this crazy stuff. So he is still doing his job and still developing dinosaurs for Engine. So we find out near the end that he really does work for Engine. D'Onofrio and him had a plan to get him and the samples out of there. So let's be sure Jurassic World 2 is happening. He, he was a cool character though. You got to hear him like, you know, we splice this, we splice this. That's how the freaking Dominus Rex can camo himself. Don't fucking lie to me. That shit was intentional. Don't lie. That shit was intentional. B.D. Wong, lion sack of shit. The Indominus Rex. This was a great, great dinosaur because not only did we have to fear for its size, its strength, and its power, but this motherfucker could camouflage. He's a white-ass dinosaur. He can just blend in and camo into whatever he's into. That's crazy. And B.D. Wong's character, actually, um, Henry Wu, really does explain this. And he says this is how it happened. Like, this tree frog and reptiles sometimes can camouflage. And we didn't think it was going to happen. Why would you even fucking do it? Are you kidding me? Really? Um, but let's let's talk the Indominus Rex. So while we're at this monster, the Indominus Rex is bigger than the T-Rex, also clones himself, and is just an all-around terrifying freaking badass. I really like the Indominus Rex. He was really cool. It was just awesome to see something bigger and badder. You could see the raptor traits. You could see the T-Rex traits. You could see him snagging shit up like that lizard they show in the... Uh, cages and yeah dominus rex was a bad mofo till he got his ass drug underwater boom son done one of my favorite parts of this film though is when the indominus rex comes in and the raptors turn on him and to protect owen and blue gets bitch slapped and then the other two jump on him start getting smashed on then blue comes back and teams up with the rex oh man Teams up with Big Daddy T-Rex from the freaking original movies. And they go after Big Bad Indominus Rex and whoop that ass. I was like telling my wife when we first saw it, I'm like, holy shit, it's Rexy and the Raptor. Get him. And then they kind of like just part ways. Like, you know, I like, like, dude, we did it. Peace out. That's what it felt like to me. And then the then Blue, the remaining Raptor. Now... Answer this for me. Is he the only raptor? They still reproduce asexually? They, there's gonna be 20 freaking raptors in the next movie? What? Yeah, guys, I said it. This is this is my thing. With the team up between the raptor, then Blue turns towards Owen, and he just stops, and he stares, and he's like... Owen's like... Blue's like... Shit. And Blue is gone, guys. And Blue is gone. Um, so Blue takes off. Asexually reproducing. We're going to have some baby blues. Awesome. We're going to call one magenta. Purple. I don't know. Lavender. But guys, this movie, I loved it. If you guys have not seen this movie, I'm sorry because I just ruined everything in this damn movie for you. But um, there was a spoiler alert, so you had your chance. But guys, I, I really did enjoy this movie. Did I enjoy it better than the first one? No. But the, the first one for me has got a huge nostalgia kick for me. I can't get over it. But this movie was great. It was definitely more towards like a monster thriller kind of horror movie because this monster is tearing everyone's fucking ass up. And not just tons of monsters at first. It's this one big bad mofo. 
So guys, I really did enjoy this movie. If I have to rate this movie 1 through 10, I'm going to give this bad boy a 9. Solid 9. Great film. There were some things that I would have changed. And I, like I said, I would have taken the kids out and found another way to tie the story in. But that's just me. But guys, let me know what you guys thought about Jurassic World and what you guys thought about my review. Sorry it's so late, but I just, I was watching the Blu-ray and I could not just help. I helped myself. I had to do it. But guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I hope if you guys want to see more reviews like this, I got a bunch of other movies I still got a review. And if you guys like this review, make sure to give me that big thumbs up. If you guys like these videos, I'm going to keep doing a bunch of movie reviews. I've got tons back here that I can do. I'm also going to be doing new ones as they come out since we have so many superhero movies this year. Let's get into it, guys. Let me know what you guys thought. Thank you very much for tuning in. I will see you guys next time right here on Nerdsmerized. Peace out. If you liked the video you just saw, make sure you rate it with that big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so you can check out all the other nerdy videos we have just like this one. Also, check out my Patreon account and become a patron if you like for access to exclusive content.